Hello everyone! In this video, we will talk about how to use Apache JMeter test plans in LoadView. JMeter is a great open source tool for load testing. However, it can prove troublesome when running large load tests and setting up distributed testing. Since JMeter runs on your server, the load in JMeter can't be scaled up as high as with other cloud-based load testing tools without additional investments in testing infrastructure. LoadView is a cloud-based application that can run JMeter tests from more than 40 geographical locations around the globe. All test result data is aggregated from distributed agents and presented in summary and element-level detail reports. While a JMeter on-site machine can handle up to 500 concurrent threads, JMeter tests in LoadView can be scaled up to 5 million concurrent threads. If you already use JMeter for load testing and would like to take advantage of all that LoadView offers, you can import your test plan in LoadView and set up load testing in no time. Okay, let's take a look at how it works in real life. I'll start with the JMeter interface. Here I have a test plan that includes two HTTP requests to the LoadView website. To import my plan to LoadView, I will save it. All right, now that I have my JMeter test plan saved, I can move on and use it to configure a load test in LoadView. In LoadView, I select the JMeter test type. To create a new JMeter project, I'm going to use my JMX file here. Let me select the file I saved, and now my test plan was imported, and I can review or edit its XML code in the text block here. LoadView imports all requests from JMeter that were included into the JMeter test plan. Request parameters such as a target URL or IP, request headers, text assertions, etc. Everything will be converted automatically into the LoadView JMeter project upon import. At this point, I'm ready to save the test device with my JMeter project and continue setting up a scenario of this load test execution. Before we start the scenario configuration settings, I want to point out that LoadView always executes the test by a single virtual user to validate it on possible errors in the test device configuration. In this section, you can find the link to your validation results. You can review your test session details here, such as session duration or possible errors. One more thing to pay attention to is the user behavior profile. You can personalize your user's behavior by setting user delays and other properties in this section. Now let's get to the base element of our scenario configuration. LoadView provides users with three types of execution plans. The basic load step curve, which can be used to learn how the gradually increasing load affects your website. A goal-oriented execution plan, which allows users to check how the website handles a required throughput over a period of time. And the dynamic adjustable curve, which provides manual control over the number of concurrent users. For the purposes of this video, I want to stick with a simple load step curve. The settings in this section are similar to thread properties in JMeter. For example, I can create an execution plan with up to 1 million concurrent users executing the test scenario simultaneously and with a duration of up to 40 minutes. Although LoadView limits load test duration and capacity due to safety reasons, you can contact your LoadView sales representative or technical support team to activate a load test time extension and allocate extra capacity for your test. And the last step in the setup process is to specify the geographic zones you'd like to include in your test. LoadView offers access to cloud-based virtual servers around the world and you can select out of more than 20 locations. That's it! We are ready to start the test execution. You can view how your test execution goes in real time in LoadView's web interface, and once it is completed, you can check its results. From there, you can download reports in different formats. LoadView emails the PDFs when the test completes. Also, you can check the details of load test sessions and get a performance report for single sessions. To sum up, opposite to JMeter, LoadView does not require configuring a cloud-based machine or setting up an infrastructure for distributed testing. With LoadView, you can configure and run load tests with a large number of virtual users from geolocations all over the world, test modern dynamic web applications like SPA, and receive detailed reports in useful graphical formats. 
contact our technical support team, your sales representative, or visit our knowledge base for more information. Thanks for watching.